Hello everyone, I'm ExtraCheesy87 and this is Let's Play Trails of Cold Steel 3 Part 116. In the previous video, we finished up most of our business in Heimdall and headed out to do the main story where we fought a, a big two-headed dinosaur and saved uh, Tommy T, who's in the party, I guess, for like Brave Order stuff. I don't know. Let's ride. Um, yeah. We're uh, supposed to be heading back to Heimdall. I don't know if it's going to be a cutscene or something on the way. I would like to fish. I remembered, you know, it is a new day and all. And so we could also fight some of these monsters that I kind of skipped in the last video. This spot seems excellent for fishing. Ah, yes. Uh, Kurt, so says Kurt Vander. Come to Papa! Got one! That was so oh, early. Oh my god, he's so freaking big. It's a, it's a damn relicanth, dude. We're gonna be able to get Reggie Rock and Reggie Ice and Reggie Still before we know catch. it. Bro, look at him. Six U materials. That wasn't even the good one. Come to Papa. Got one. Okay, this is different. Oh, it's a fighter. Um, are you just an Azelle fish, or you're like a super Azelle fish? Couldn't right. run from me. Okay. Um, don't don't Come really. Come to Papa. Got one. You're mine. I wish I could get as into fishing as ashes. <laughs> Pretty big catch. He's so happy. Come to Papa. Got one. I just want to get the super thing again. Oh, it's a fighter. Yeah, like honestly, just go away. I don't want you. Damn, got away. Come to Papa. Got one. Oh, it's Come. a fighter. Is it? Because it looks like it's the smallest fish in existence. IMO? Couldn't run from me. <laughs> Ash. Ash, buddy. Come to Papa. Got one. I mean, I really want to get the super thing again. You're mine. All right, we'll catch this and we'll be done. Couldn't run from me. Are you new? No, you're not. Wow, his name is Biggest Kurtz. Brave Seed. I don't want that garbage. Let's ride. Fuck off. I don't believe in that shit. Um, wasn't there like a super monster around here? Like you know the big yeah. ones that do the whole like, oh, it's a it's a strong Your one. Enemy is strong. Yeah. Please be. Uh, apparently, Kurt is on death's door, so we maybe want to do something about that. Maybe. Be on guard. It's strong. I can't believe that hit. But you're telling me that hit, but Yuna's like at point blank range will never hit. You got anything? Oh, Tommy T. You're in the party, but you don't give me a brave order. Coward. How do I play this game? Scorpion King. Look at those old eye thingies. Kind of disgusting. You need to poison, confuse, charm. Stat down, freeze. I and mean, we could bring out the Muster. We could do it. Second form, Gale! Now! It's mine! Alright! Why the- oh yeah, because your strength is buffed at the start. I was like, why the hell did that do so much damage? What are you guys weak to again? Confusion, charm, freeze, stat down. You can't escape! Fire! Very well. Uh -ha! My turn! I mean, you guys don't seem that strong. I shouldn't say that, but... I'm gonna think it. Form up. Iron Very will well. formation. Yeah. Uh, Kurt, what the hell, man? Sure. Feel like you should have done more there. Can yeah, we do have like negative CP on everyone? Uh. Wow, that reflected so much. Ha. I don't think we've ever reflected that much, even when you're flying like S crafts. I'm up. It's like barely anything usually. Honestly, you got no CP? Don't ever talk to me, Muse. You're banned. You're banned. Uh, uh, uh. Crimson Slash! Now! It's mine! My turn! Alright, so says Kurt Vander. Uh -huh. Very well. Break through! Slash Very hammer. well. You should break, right? I believe in you, Kurt. They've got their defense down. Uh -huh. 
Yeah, you broke one of them at An least. Opening. You almost broke the other. You're fine. You're fine. Uh, weak. Damn it. It's my turn. Okay, this should break the other one. You can't escape. Fire! Wide open. It's mine. Very Your well. arts, they're very sick. Please don't heal. Uh very well. Okay, you're already linked with Reen. Uh, strike! Eight's down. An opening! I'm up! Man, Kurt is just what a guy. What a what a player, man. Second form? Gale! It's down! It's mine! I got this. Let's see, we can try and set up a link finish. Which ones haven't we seen? Well, you guys are still, you're actually still pretty alive, so maybe we can't, but we'll try. Link with Curdy boy. You're mine! It's down! Too slow! It's my 10k, turn. exactly. Look at that, look at that. You're fainted, as, okay, you're fainted, so that gives us a chance to set up some link finishes, potentially. This doesn't give you a bigger range on this, right? Nah. Set striker. <laughs> Wide open. Everyone ready? I don't know. May as well for the lulls. I mean, it's not great damage, but it's something. Ah, uh, strike there. It's mine. Let's go. Okay, so we want to do it like this. Can you double hit? Come on, Kurt. Why you got to be like that, man? Uh -huh. Very well. Yeah. It's my turn. So let's think. What, what's, what do we want to see? Because we've pretty much seen all of the main cast. Or our main four. Maybe some sort of interaction with Muse and Altina. Good luck. I'll handle it. I don't think we've seen like Altina with like anyone. Aside from like maybe Reen. Wonder how much damage this does. <laughs> Your like, weapon hasn't been upgraded the entire game. Let's see. Destroy. I mean honestly, now. it's not that bad considering. All right. So how do we want to try and do this? I think we don't want to attack with you. Sure. You're at 8k. Huh. Yeah! I'll assist. Ha. Hmm. Let's go. If Altina auto attacks, if we can. He's not gonna be fainted. She is likely to unbalance him. Oh, we got Hollow Sphere. Oh, that's a that's activate. a free crit. I always forget about that. Weak. Got no time God, to rest. Ash, I hate you. Okay, all is forgiven. Sixty-two, three times. Jesus Christ, that's insane. I must train even. Okay, we, that took way longer than it should have. I really was trying to fish, let's man. Yeah. All right, let's get out of here. What the hell are you? Are you okay? How did evolution lead to this? Yeah. These questions and more. Um, excuse me, I was on a horse? Oh, if you continue north, you'll end up the um, Corel Imperial Villa. The Corel Imperial Villa? What's that? It's a palace the Imperial family uses for events. I see, so it's connected. It's open to the public this time of year. Yeah, there's a special train at Heimdall Station you can take to get there. All right, why don't we go have ourselves a look and take the train back? Well, I am a little interested, but we're in the middle of our special ops missions. Unfortunately, must decline. Uh, maybe next time then. Come on, come on, Tommy T. They can't stop us. If we go fast enough, they can't stop us. Uh... Oh. Fine. We'll go back. Ooh, I'm Reen. I hate fun.
Phew, we're here. Oh, I'm truly grateful to you all. Oh, excuse me. This is Schwarzer. Ah, Breen, is now a good time? Since the call went through, I'm guessing you're still in the city somewhere. Wrong again, Toa. We're just outside. We just had business to take care of on the highway, so we just came back. What's up? I just wrapped up a call, actually. I called home and was asked over for lunch. I told them about you, and they said I should invite you. That's... wouldn't that be a hassle? Shut up, Reem, you're going. No, Auntie and Uncle like having guests over. Of course, I'll leave the time with your special ops mission, so how about it? Understood, I'll head to your house right now. So, where is it? <laughs> um, guys, don't take that line out of context. It's in the district you guys were at this morning. It's in the Herschel's General Store in on Vesta Street. Ah, oh, so that place is your home after all. Got it, we're heading over right now. I'll be waiting. Was that Instructor Toa? Are we headed somewhere? Yeah, actually. Rian explained. I see, I get it now. Huh, I haven't seen Toa since she graduated. I wonder if it'd be alright if I came too. I'm sure it'd make her happy. I'll contact her right now that you're... I'm just kidding. I actually have to meet up with someone right now. It's uh, someone who's quite stubborn and difficult to deal with. I'm sure they're in the capital somewhere, but our schedules just don't line up. Okay, if you say so. That's the tram that heads to the main street. Now, if you'll excuse me, good luck with your field exercises. Yeah, goodbye. Thank you for all your help. Here's a copy of the books. I was holding them for you. They're from Sister Rosine. But I've already read that one, probably. Maybe. Well, actually, no, that's probably a new one. I can't remember. Because when they're called Black Records 5, that's... The new ones? Well, no, because that would be an old one? I can't remember. Thank you so much. I'll update you the newest books eventually, too. Class 7 looks like a nice group of kids. Uh... He, he's so carefree. That's <laughs> only like that even get a job at the academy. He may not look like it, but he's quite strong. He once fought a magic knight with only an orbital staff. What? Oh. His appearance says otherwise. Yeah, he's also got anime powers. Probably. They may look easy going, but his movements are extremely methodical. You can't judge a person solely by their looks. Now then, it's almost noon. Let's head to Vesta Street. It'd be rude if we showed up late. I completely agree. I suppose you should wait for the tram then. Never. That's what I call a good warm-up. Combat looks mighty fierce today, but I know you'll tear up that track. I truly believe that. Alrighty, I should probably eat lunch for the race. No wonder, don't eat too much. Oh, is this the Western Gate? Not again, I got on the wrong bus. We were supposed to go to the Southern Village. I had to go to the village to teach the children at Sunday school. I'm lost again. If the priestess doesn't show up within 15 minutes, you're, 15 minutes, you're legally allowed to leave. Everything looks so good. There's no way like you need all this. Wolf drool? My thoughts exactly. That man in the coat. There's something fishy about him. Hmm, may I'm overthinking it. Oh, God. He's smart. Oh, shit. Someone assassinated him. He's on to us. Anything I want to do first? I feel like there was. I uh, get out of my party. So many options. So many choices. Ooh, where do I want to go? Where could I go? Yeah, I was kind of wondering if dialogue would have updated in the city, but uh, apparently not. Just because, you know, those guys had new dialogue, but... With that, Reen and the students were treated to lunch on the second floor of Toa's, of the store family's, to the store Toa's family owned. Sorry for showing up in a big crowd like this. Oh, nonsense. We've been dying to meet you. We always knew she went to the same school as the Ashen Chevalier. But when we found out you two were co-workers now, we knew we had to invite you over. Don't make it weird, lady. Hey, I'm begging you. Auntie. Just don't. 
Don't get cocky, Reen Schwarzer. Oh no, he's also got big. If anyone's gonna date my sister, it's me, Energy. You may be famous, but don't think for a second I'll let some dumb celeb like you get with Toa. Hey, Kai, you're being very rude right now. Need I remind you I now have a gun? I grew up at lively dinner tables like this, so I feel right at home. It's been some time since I sat down to such an animated meal. Sorry, Kurt, you were waiting for your mom, weren't you? No, I told her I'd be heading back once we were done with our field exercises. Hey, can I get seconds over here? Of course, dear, I made plenty, so go ahead and right ahead and stuff yourself, but you haven't touched your food, Dash. I hope you girls aren't holding back because you're worried about gaining weight or anything like that. If anything, I'd like to gain weight, actually. Oh, Tina, dear, words like that are apt to make women the world over your enemies. What? We're all a bunch of good kids. From the sound of it, the class she's in charge of is full of a bunch of characters, too. Yeah, but they're all hard workers, every one of them. Oh, most of all, though. She's helped me out more times than I can count. She's pretty much always been like that. Her parents and her grandfather probably played a big part in that. I see. She might have told you, but both her parents were scholars. They both passed away when she was young, so she was raised by her grandfather. He was a scholar, too. Pretty important in the scholarly world, actually. He used to be a director at the Imperial Museum you guys visited this morning. All right, I heard about that. He was a famous astronomer. See, man, look at that. All the acknowledgement of us doing the Bond events. Nice little touches. Yes, but he too passed away a few years ago. He was already very intelligent, but after that she began studying even harder. To the point where she started to get top grades out of all the schools in Heimdall. I thought she'd be going to the Imperial Academy, but she took a scholarship to go to a military academy instead. First I assumed she did it because she didn't want to worry about us paying her tuition, but it seems she had a different reason. Huh? I didn't think of it. I never asked her why she chose to enroll at Thor's. That is true. I was worried about hers, and she has a habit of pushing herself too hard. As far as we're concerned, she's our adorable niece and an irreplaceable part of our family. Well, I'll try and help her out as much as I can at work. How about that? Why well, do that? There's a much simpler way for a man to support a woman. I said don't make it weird, lady. Huh? She's a bit petite and child. Uh, but she's adorable and great with housework. You two work in the same place. Why not have her just take her as her wife and let her quit? Like, why you gotta say that to a damn stranger, you weirdo? Like, not even, that's like not even a joke. That's like an ultimatum. <laughs> no, no, Martha. These days, it's perfect good for a husband and wife to work at the same place. Sure, maybe until they have kids. Oh, but we could help you two take care of your little ones if you need it. Aunt Martha, Uncle Fred, stop! <laughs> need to remind you, Toa has a gun. After lunch was finished, coffee was served. The delicious aroma of roasted beans wafted through the house. So I invited Reen to a room to discuss something. My name is Kurt Vander. <laughs> Hello. Nice to meet you, tiny children. And then Yuna breaks all the plates trying to wash them. This is your room, huh? <laughs> Don't look too closely. It's not very girly, is it? That's a lot of damn books. I was thinking about eventually giving this room to Kai. But they all said it was too early to move all my things out. Her family must really cherish her. There are so many books here. Did you buy all these? Oh, no. Most of them were my parents. They studied politics and economics, so a big chunk of the books are on those two topics. Wow. The room next door was my grandpa's office. There are a ton of books in there, and not just about astronomy. Come to think of it, I've spent most of my life surrounded by books. I can picture that. I've been wondering, what made you decide to go to a military school? Huh? I mean, Thor's is a prestigious place and all, and graduates don't always join the military, but... With your grades and how smart you are, you could have gone to any number of other prestigious schools. Why Thor's? Well, the scholarships are good at Thor's, but besides that... I fear that military matters are unavoidable here in Erebonia. Hmm? Maybe it's just nationalism or our country's traditions, but martial issues have always been valued highly here. There's the history of power struggles and rising arsenals between the Imperial Army and the Vigil Armies. 
Then there's our 100 years of conflict with Calvert. That's probably the biggest factor in our country being so wary. Personally, I don't like war, but I believe in this day and age there won't be any avoiding it. Annabelle told me if you want to find the truth, you have to look for it in both the good and the bad. I think that might be why I chose the worst. At the core of things, like the military and martial arts is power. No, violence. Sorry, I probably shouldn't be saying things to someone like you who practice swordsmanship. Don't worry, I won't say any of this to the students. It's okay, I understand that feeling. But wow, fearing violence at trying to find answers by immersing yourself in it? That's not something you can do without the right amount of knowledge or determination. I'm impressed, I wasn't gonna start calling you President Toei again. Hey! I almost forgot. Look over here, Reen. That picture, is that when you were younger? Yeah, so you got the... the band, her with Crow in them. Uh, no, that wasn't it. Sorry for prying. I'd like to get a closer look at these, though. Well, if you really want to, you can, but... These are your parents? Yeah, shortly after they took this photo, they got in an accident while traveling abroad. They were on their way back from the International Academic Conference in Crossville when their airship crashed. I see. I think I remember hearing that. Yeah, I do remember that now. This must be the grandpa I've heard so much about? Yeah, I was grandpa's little girl, so I was always with him. Went to museums sometimes, together Together sometimes, he'd sneak me into lectures. That's quite the childhood. This picture from the school festival. I got the same one on my desk too. Come to think of it, this is the only picture we took with all of us together like this. Yeah, you're right. I have the one from graduation too, but I like this one better. Yeah, I agree. Uh, don't look at that one. <laughs> That's in the concert footage from the first year you showed me, isn't it? It really is quite a bold costume. Rain! Sorry. Huh? Is this from your first year at the Academy? Yes, I guess I've never shown it to you. We took this picture back when the four of us were testing the Arcus. Angie and George knew each other from their time in Ruhr. Her and Angie were always fighting back then. And all his jokes and his laid-back attitude were just to cover up his true goals. I mean, you know what I'm thinking. Yeah, maybe Angie noticed that about him from the start. But Instructor Sarah taught us and we'd help each other out when we were in a pinch. Four of us were each in different classes, but we became best friends regardless. So, uh... That's <laughs> why so I understand why you feel that way, the way you do about Class 7. Here's what I wanted to show you. It's a gift from me. This is... It was like a notebook. After graduation, I asked Fidelio from the photography club to make a little album of Class 7. And he gathered up all the pictures taken by Rex, the uh, other students, and the instructors. That's kind of cool. It's even got like the old, like, uh, you know, the CS1 art style. That was the perfect thing for when Class 7 got together again. Toa. Or, you know, it's just like actual screenshots from the game. Thank you, really. For everything. You guys worked so hard for over a year, it's the least I could do for you. Me, Angie, George, and all the other students, and the instructors, and even Crow. We all like seeing Class 7 happy and smiling together. Uh, I'll make sure they all see this. As early as tonight, actually, provided I can get a hold of them all, that is. I see, well, I hope everything works out. Me too. we will prioritize our field exercises, of course. I won't. You hear that, everyone? We're going to be starting our afternoon <laughs> mission soon, so get yourselves in gear. I guess he's gotten used to everyone eavesdropping on him. Uh. <laughs> I knew I should have switched to stop mode. Damn, what's with this present sensing crap of his? Maybe he's just good at sniffing people out? It's, it's, it's his third anime superpower. <laughs> if that's the case, maybe he'd be vulnerable to a little pheromone-enhanced perfume. I don't think that's real. Our apologies. We were coming to get you and heard your voice. And then started eavesdropping like weirdos. Yeah, 
we figured we shouldn't interrupt. No, I mean, it's fine. We would have done the same, or I would have wanted to do the same in third position, so I can't be mad. Oh, yeah? Well, I figured you two were getting hot and heavy in there. And then Toei just blows his brains out. Hot and... He Ash! Cut it out, you! <laughs> in any event, you plan to meet the others from the old Class 7 tonight, correct? Well, we're stuck writing all our reports for the day. Yes, Altina, of rebel against homework. Get them, Altina. Join oh, the anti-homework no, no, alliance. Nothing's set in stone just yet, you know? You'll back me up here, right, Kurt? No, Kurt Vander does not want to do reports either. Kurt Vander thinks finds them that they hurt his hand. Sorry, that's simply not possible. Kurt Vander may be a simp for Reen, but he's not that much of a simp. After the commotion had settled down, Reen and the others said their thanks and left the Herschel store. They saw Toa back to the field exercise camp, and then they set off to resume their special operations missions. That's a nice scene, though. More fuel for the... I kind of wish Toa had just been, like, the main romantic interest, because I feel like there's so much more work put into her than every other character, really. Even Elisa, who's like supposed to be the canon love interest, or like the one that gets the most special attention, I feel like Toa actually gets more. Like there's more actual like story-based scenes with Toa in it. Now it's partially just because like Elisa's not in the plot of the game much at this point, but um, or really even any of the other old Class 7 members. But uh, yeah, I like Toa. By the way, it seems like none of the forces have been able to capture that unit yet. But they appear to be on the move, at least. They're supposed to be extremely covert. Understood. It's a little creepy. Yes, yeah, so we should try and collect more information this afternoon. Alright, be careful. Contact the camp if anything happens, okay? You should be able to reach us while you're in the city. Understood. Thank you for all your hard work. Do we have any more requests for the afternoon? Yeah, we see some at the city hall. Oh. More side quests. Riding the horrible waves. Have repeated issues with our communication devices. We were hoping you could help us investigate the cause. There's a dangerous area beneath the race course that we'd like to investigate. We hate to trouble you, but would you? Uh, we ask for your help. My manager Charlton will give you the details. Please come to the Heimdall race course at your earliest convenience. A workshop on the main street. Oh, the Heimdall race course. Oh, nice. You're awfully keen, Ash. Horse racing is a form of gambling in Erebonia, right? I must admit, I kind of like to try it, but I'm worried about those agents. We should search for information in the areas you haven't been to yet. You're right, in that case, we should probably stop by Dracos Plaza. Dracos, the person who comes up in Erebonian history all the time? Yes, the Lionheart Emperor. He's also the one who created Thoris. It's a gigantic square in front of the castle we saw this morning. It's packed with tourists. I see, we should definitely go there. Dracos Plaza and the race course are pretty far from each other. How about we visit Dracos Plaza first? After that, we can stop anywhere else we need to while we do the voluntary requests. And then we'll finish up with the race course. Yeah, it seems like the most efficient way. It will also be a wise use of our time. Alright, we'll now resume our afternoon special operations missions. Let's first head to Dracos Plaza, and then we'll think about what to do next. Once we finish everything we need to do, we'll head to the Heimdall race course. Understood. Let's get going. Alrighty. Hello. It looks like Officer Brighton is making his patrol rounds. He's very polite and respectful, and he's the chief warrant officer of the military police. Plus, he lives around here, so we all know him. Hmm. He's going to peace of mind whenever I see Officer Brighton on patrol. Hope he keeps up the good work. So we still didn't establish whether Kai's like her brother or cousin. I'm guessing cousin. Like, just because, like, the time frame? Because they said when she was really young is when her parents died, so... Kathy, aren't you taking a break? Yeah, I finished cleaning the table, so I thought I'd make some coffee while coming to see you. I expect nothing less from my daughter. Quick worker and thoughtful to boot. Not nearly a quick worker as you, father. You're reading the news again. Is it really that interesting? Of course. Reality is much more interesting than any novel. You never change, father. You probably shouldn't say that in, like, a video game. <laughs> but yeah, this is cool and all, but you should definitely uh, go read the news. It's more interesting. By the way, I heard that a few students are dropping out of San Estrella. I wonder what I heard, they're all nobles. I wonder if it's because their families fell and can no longer pay their tuition. I don't think the children should have to suffer for that. Well, I mean, I wouldn't say they're suffering. Would you say the kids that can't afford to go to Santa Shrine in the first place are suffering? Hmm? 
I mean, yeah, it kind of sucks, I guess. Like, you don't have to leave your school that you've been enrolled in, but... You know. Maybe the school shouldn't charge so much tuition. That'd be the real thing to be mad about. Shoot, shoot. Uh, I hear the bakery's doing something big for the summer festival. Damn it, if that happens, our place is gonna lose money for sure. Anyway, what's our recipe situation looking like? Okay, so we call it back up. So we're just missing one final one. And how's fishing looking? We're still missing four. Or no, we did get the... Yeah, we got the rock eaters. We're missing three. Probably actually just missing two, right? Because this is probably like the final fish. Because I mean, I'm guessing there's like... You know, they've been hinting at this like fishing showdown. I don't know like when the cutoff of that's going to be, but... You just get more new materials at max. You can even see what they give for the ones that you haven't caught, or like the big ones. A rod level. Only three fishes, Altina? Alright, we'll let you catch some fish next time. Wow, I knew your hometown would come through, Chief. The citizens were very forthcoming with info. We're just a lot of familiar faces, no big deal. We don't have any clues. If only we had more help. It seems like the military police are also having a tough time. Let's do our best. This has been really cooperative. They've really been a great help. All right, I'll make my rounds on another block. Brings a great peace of mind to ever see offer. Oh, I already talked to you. Also, um, hello. <laughs> You're gonna make a donation. Look, like you play Vandas Masters too. How do you know that? The kids got me playing in. I try and take it easy on them. You have the time. Would you like to play against me? I don't know if I'm any good, but sure. I warn you, I'm pretty good, alright? I mean, you're canonically undefeated, Reen. I don't count that Muse garbage. As far as I'm concerned, that bond event didn't happen. Oh, a fellow witch enjoyer? Go easy on me. Uh, I mean, the five mana is pretty strong. Okay. Mmm... I and mean, we start with, we really probably should reorganize our deck now that we have so much starting mana. Like, we don't really need these one costs anymore that much. Like, honestly, you can go away, and I think both of you can go away. Because we're going to go last, right? So we should be able to do the double, yeah, we're going to get the gun lady out first turn. Poggy Woggy. This could be bad, actually, because you, you can't, well, you could kill with the magic attack. You could kill our gun lady. You probably won't, though. It does, it does four damage. That's actually kind of strong. Now, what we could do is we could save you. And, like, play you and then have you seal as cover or we could just assume that AI is going to not kill you it's kind of what I'm thinking I'm thinking the AI is a coward see they're a coward yeah they're they definitely are making a lot of mistakes, but they're for our benefit. Oh, I guess technically we're actually strong against that. But yeah, we do want to move you back because you are taking a lot of damage. Okay, we'll, we'll risk you for the Bisky just to get you off the board. And we can pretty much kill next turn. Maybe. Oh, fuck, dude. I guess they can't kill the gun lady because she's strong against them. I mean, this dude's like actually a little strong. With like all the the free like the strong wind attacks. I don't really care about sealing you. I 
But yeah, I would reorganize our deck a little bit now that we have such a strong mana start. Like, we don't need these 1-1s one -ones anymore, or these 1 costs as much. But alright, we win now. But honestly, he's probably the actual strongest person we fought. If the AI was good, this would be a pretty hard me. fight with him going first. Just because, I mean, you get a lot of starting momentum with, like, those ranged cards that can... ...attack. Like, since they get to attack before you do, they have an advantage, but... When the truck comes, gotta help Pops. Hey, Range Schwarzer, if you want to be on the teller's side, you better prove yourself when you're in Heimdall. You hear that, Instructor? Oh, man. I'm not just gonna let some pretender get with Toa. You better prove yourself like you're in Heimdall. I mean, Rain deserves it. I mean, if he's gonna act like that with Elise, but... I'm sorry for wording so much. Oh, come on, you're our number one customer. It's no problem at all. Here, take these treats. You can pass them out to your regulars. Thank you, I'm sure they all love them. Come on, you're our number one customer. Here, take these treats. I want some treats. Hello, sir, the treats? Kai's actually surprisingly good at helping out. He's been great lately. Thought I got to talk to you today. Please stop by when you have the time. You're always welcome. What's up? It really is a shame. She's so close to this handsome guy. So anyway, please take care of Toa. You'll find yourself in a pinch. You can, if you find yourself in a pinch, you can ask me for help. He's so pushy. Ain't easy to be on a heart though, is it, Instructor? Yeah, wow, he's got it so hard. <laughs> um, I want to buy anything here? Not really. Oh man, look at that. We've got money again. What a strange concept. More looking at shit I damn well know I can't afford. I kind of wouldn't mind one of these. It's the Odin gem. I mean, that's good. Anyway, please take care of Toa. If you find yourself in a pinch, you can ask me for help. Nope. Oh, we can go up here now. Wait. Oh, there's another floor. I was like, there's only one room? Anything else to investigate in Toa's room? Other than just the books? He has a little step ladder. More books. What do you think she's got in the chests? Oh my god. Even more books. Well... Wait, what about this room? Yeah, this is probably where the kid- or the family lives? Or the, you know, aunt and uncle? Where does the kid live? I mean, I'm, I'm guessing the kid lives here. There's no room for him, though. I mean, unless they both sleep in this one single bed and he sleeps in the bed next to them. Seems kind of weird, but... Um... Because they said he's not using this room yet. So where does the kid sleep? One of these days, like, someone in Zamuria is going to invent the double bed, and holy shit, it'll probably end all war. Like, I think it'll be such a revelation that nobody will want to fight anymore, because they're like, oh my god, I get to sleep in a bed that's not super tiny? Osborne will just wake up one morning so refreshed, and he's like, you know what? Maybe I don't need to conquer every country. Maybe I can just live my life, and peace, and luxury, and... Kind of lucky to have a relative like Toa. I Man, I wish I had a cute cousin too. Okay, it is cousin. Until you ever talk about Matthew. By the way, about the summer festival, you celebrate to go to this year? Nope, not yet. But all three of us are going to go together, right? We can't decide anything without Kai. Yeah, let's just wait until he's done helping. Kai cares for his family a lot, so he often helps off the chores. He's always talking about how he's going to be a hero. I think Kai will be able to make that dream come true. Yeah, maybe he can be the protagonist in 20 years. I'm sure she's busy, so we probably have to give up any hope of that happening this year.
talk to you guys. We didn't go to the bakery. My dad loved the summer festival, so he always has a little something around the same time. This year's the purebred contest. He's still going over the details with a friend, but it's going to be great. All right, we're back. The game crashed. It actually crashed twice. Um, I, I loaded it back in and recorded for about 20 seconds, and then the game crashed again instantly. Um, thankfully, we're after the Banshee Master fight, so we don't have to redo that again, but... Uh, I'm trying to... We didn't miss any note. Like, the nobody we talked to gave us, like, a journal notebook or anything, so I think we can just... Pretend we talked to the characters that we did talk to earlier. I think we are in the bakery. Apparently the bakery's cursed. Because it's both times I've walked in, it instantly crashes. Let's try it again. That was Summer Festival. It was the purebred contest. He goes over... Yeah, 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 We talked to you. You know, after coming to Arabonia, I realized the bread transcends borders. It's the corniest shit I've ever heard in my entire life. I mean, sure, every culture has their preferences and whatnot, but good bread is good bread, no matter where you're from. I'm really happy that I came here to train. It's really given me a fresh perspective. Incidentally, the owner of Lafayette likes creating new kinds of bread. In this our festival, there'll be a creative bread contest. I'm thinking of my entering. It's called the Pure Bread Contest, so have a good experience for me. Might come up with a new bread from all I've learned while being here. I mean, to a degree, he's got a point, because, like, you know, most cultures do have some sort of bread, I guess. I don't know. Honey, honey, do you remember our first date? Of course I do. You were so nervous you dropped your croissant right in the soup. Uh, yeah, uh, that uh, wasn't on purpose. You're right, I remember how soft and flaky it was, and the taste was divine. I mean, it seems like a pretty normal thing to do. My husband used to have awful table manners. How he's changed as the years have passed. Okay, uh, just get me, get me out of here before the game crashes again. I'm trying to get into a prestigious high school in Heimdall, but with my brain, this isn't going to be easy. I really need to study hard. Um, can we talk about the fact that you're 25 years old and you're trying to get into a high school? What? Oh yeah, people have been coming out of the guild hall lately. They look like they all belong to some kind of organization. Maybe the rumors about them resuming their activities are true. Hey, okay, nobody there. Or your place kind of dead. How you staying in business? I'll buy one of those. Just to save me on the ingredients. I don't think we went to the apartments. I'm pretty sure we didn't. Yeah, no. I often frequent the Herschel's General Store next door. I like to go Eastern style food, but not many stores sell Eastern ingredients. And lucky for me, they always stock just what I need. Also, lady, your shelves are a little high. Also, why do you got so much stuff? Are you preparing for the damn apocalypse? That's, like, that's just too much stuff to have, I think. I mean, especially because you got all the stuff. Do you know something we don't? Satsuki. Yo. <laughs> Some shit about to go down. <laughs> We're about to be a damn nuclear bomb. We got a stockpile for the next, uh, for the nuclear winter. Okay. Hey, Chucky, once you're full, let's go play. I bought some bird toys at the pet shop. I'm so full. I feel sleepy. <laughs> okay. I'll go play by myself today. What? What exactly is a bird toy? Doug, I seem tired from all the playing you today. I'm a little bummed, but it is what it is. <laughs> uh, um, I'm so lonely. Eating makes me sleepy. Rock! I know you're amazed that how I was able to mimic a bird so clearly. That wasn't a bird outside. That was actually just me. <laughs> You've been fooled. I think that's everything. What of the private home? I don't think we've gone through there. But I think we've talked to everybody outside. Oh, my son, who's in the military academy, is coming home today. He came in here to Heimdall for his field exercises. I wonder if he's okay. He has the worst luck. 
field exercises. Could it be? I had a feeling. Looks like this is his home. I mean, I mean, I'm guessing they're talking about Muller Jr. But I mean, it could. It feels like it could be literally any student. But I mean, just because he's like the only other male named character besides Cedric doesn't mean it has to be his home. I mean, it probably is, but. My kids both enrolled at new schools this year. My son at a military academy, my daughter at St. Estrella. My daughter is the polar opposite of my son. She has amazing luck. She was able to get a scholarship. She's been doing well, but it's not all positive. It's kind of weird that she's like... The daughter is at St. Estrella. Uh, the son is at unnamed military school. I, mean, I feel like Thor's is definitely like more prestigious. You probably want to brag about it. I, mean, I guess they're about as prestigious, but... Yeah, okay, I think we can head on out. Okay, you won't let me go to the other places? So maybe it's not the entire dialogue is updated? Whoa! <laughs> this is see Dracos Plaza. You think they'd make his statue even bigger? You think he'd be like, you know, I don't know, 100 feet tall, kill him for fun. All right, but there's so many tourists here today. Oh, the plaza in the Imperial Palace are the biggest tourist attractions. So this is Valframe Palace? I saw it from the station, but I still can't believe it. Now, is that big ass pile of bricks where the Emperor and the Chancellor look down on us from, huh? That statue in the middle must be everyone's favorite big shot emperor you keep going on about history class. He doesn't look like he's supposed to. I mean, granted, we'll never see him from the back in Reen's flashbacks, but I feel like he looked... He, he he doesn't quite fit with that vibe of that statue based on what we saw. Emperor Dracos, the Lionheart. Uh, let's look around as we make way to Valfame Palace. You should take note of anything that catches your attention. I certainly will. Aramansi, the book. Like, this is the old one? Yeah. Oh, wait. Yeah, yeah, these are the old ones. I keep getting confused on which ones are uh, new and which ones are old. The four armies of the four prince. Oh, the fourth prince, Orthius, is a million light. Six prince, Lucius, this palatinate knight. Combined forces of the remaining prince, Gunner and Albert, who had a legion of magical golems under their control. Yeah, dude, it was he, the illegitimate son. Just kind of skimming through it again to refresh my memory. Roland fell in battle. Not long that, he met a woman who would change his destiny forever. The woman was none other than the daughter of Count Sandlot, who hailed from the lakeside town of Lagram. Okay, they did their stuff. Eventually succeeded in persuading even Prince Lucius, owner of the Platinum Knight, to fight for his cause. Same time, however, the false emperor schemed to elevate the curse for million knights even greater power to godhood. Didn't do that well, considering he got his ass kicked by Reen, but Reen and Fee, just solo, or not duo, took him out. Anything, the demonic god of Ernst and Heimdall alongside a monstrous castle and vanquished the approaching armies of Albert and Gunnar in a single battle. Their end was anything but conventional, however. They were simply erased from existence. Okay, so that's like kind of similar to what the White, I White Ion does. I never really made that connection before. Even the Platinum Knight cannot contend with such a foe was felled, and as it decimated all who challenged the False Emperor, countless crimson spirit veins spread out from the castle, stealing the very life in the capital citizens. As well as those in the surrounding area, defeat seemed all but inevitable. I mean, then this is when it's like, but they won! <laughs> Following the guidance of a kindly witch, they were led to a new great knight which slumbered on the outskirts of Heimdall. After overcoming a trial, they were able to claim the Ashen Knight and its power. With it in hand, along with their many supporters in the army of Prince Lucius, they marched on the capital for the final time, eventually making their way to the castle at its center. Three days later, on the 4th of July, a year 952, the castle vanished from existence, and the city was liberated. Yeah, it's like super anticlimactic. They're like, oh man, they're sitting with the super duper ultimate final conflict. And it's like, yeah, Dracos wins. <laughs> It's kind of like, oh man, I wonder what's going to happen to Crossbell in the wake of all these events with Dieter. You know, Erebonia and Calvert are super weakened. Will they be able to mount an invasion? I wonder what's going to happen to the Independent. Oh, uh, they just invade. All right, uh, see ya. Yeah, 
mint chocolate chip ice cream. How are you gonna charge fifteen hundred for this? Like, how 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 can you do that with a clean conscience? Welcome. You like some ice cream? Our ice cream stall is pretty famous around Draco's Plaza. Go ahead and give it a try. Yeah, famous for being overpriced garbage. Hey, hey, I got some ice cream. The ice cream from that lady stall is really good. Oh, oh God, what the hell? I can't believe how splendid this plaza is. The Empire of Erebonia is amazing. The sky is clear, the sun shining bright. It's no better time to kick back and enjoy the day. Uh, g g gang, I have a report. I think I found a spy. That! <laughs> oh my gosh, it's nightmare fuel. Oh, it's you guys. I, I remember you. You used to always hang out with a guy named Nick. His dad got a job in North Ambria, so they moved away. It's born just Tim. He always argues and he sucks at playing ball. Ubo accidentally kicked the ball towards the Imperial Plaza three times in the past. In my personal experience, car games aren't safer. Yeah, okay, whatever. You want to throw down, kid? Hey, Tim, let's hang out. It's okay. You just have to kick it. Oh, what's up, Vivi? Tom and Reddit something about the party, but I couldn't get anything meaty. I'm just not, but I am not so easily deterred. There's a story here somewhere. I just need to find it. Hey, Carla, don't move around like that. I'm trying to compose the shot. Uh, this coffee brings me so much happiness. I don't even have time to eat lunch. Don't think I'm too busy. I need to get my rounds in. I won't hit my quota. Who, who are you? Do we? I feel like we know you. I need to go visit my clients this afternoon. The insurance business is pretty hellish. I mean, you like the lady that's in the the cafe and uh, leaves, but I don't remember if her name is Sabrina or not. Oh, there's so many cool buildings. Whoa, the capital's amazing. I think I remember you too. I'm doll. It's so crazy here. The festival hadn't even started yet. Still, this should be a good spot for business. I'm all the way over here. Need to make money for my family. Are you from... Are you the farmer dude from... I don't know the name of the place. For reasons unrelated, I need to look at the map. Celtic. No, I mean, I feel, I definitely know you. Maybe. The name Artem seems super familiar. Oh, I'm sorry, we're still setting up. I need to get changed. I need to get used to running the store for the festival starts. But like, my juice? You, but my juice? Juice, juice me, lady. You may not be juice, lady, but you still have to provide the juice, lady. So many pretenders to the throne. Dracos the Lionheart, Erebonia's father of the Renaissance. The statue was built after his passing so that he could watch over Heimdall. It has such a regal feel to it. Oh no, he can't see what's going on. I mean, I feel like there's... Some some irony to that statement that he's he's supposed to watch over what's happening, yet he's not facing the palace where all the governing happens and the real decisions are made. I don't know. There's something there. Great Emperor Dracul, so cool, just like the rumors. I wonder if this is a good angle. Maybe this one. Luna! Father, what's that? Oh, how dignified. Valfling Palace is 800 years of history and is the greatest. Why is it on top of the water? Why, Father? Why, why, why? Hmm, I guess that's what Luna wanted to know. Well... Look, Luna, do you see the upside-down reflection of the castle in the water? If you build a castle in water, it becomes twice as big! R really Wait, you're lying to me again, aren't you? No, that was the truth this time. Alphine Palace is really amazing up close. Yeah, it's like a tiny ass little mountain. Including the spires, it's a hundred arcs arc high, but it's without question the tallest building built by the Empire. However, it pales in comparison to Orcus Tower, it stands at 250 arc. You don't need to be nice to me or anything. You can really sense the history surrounding it. Hey, there's a lot of history to Orcus Tower. It, uh, you know, was instantly attacked as soon as it was built. Uh, it's got an evil dungeon in it. They installed speakers to play uh, cool music while Lloyd and gang go up. It's got all kinds of monster chests in it for some reason. Yes. Oh, 
Kurt. Let us know, so those guards aren't leaving any openings. They truly are leader of the reputation of the Imperial Defense Force. Oh yeah, I heard some people at the girls' school call them that. Yes, though before the Imperial Guardsmen from the Provincial Army used to be the ones who protected Balfame Palace. They were disbanded at the Civil War and replaced with the Imperial Army's newly founded Imperial Defense Force. How are you gonna, like, come on. Call them the Guardian Force. If you're gonna steal stuff from Crossbell, at least steal the cool name. Every member is well versed in 100 form military combat. Hell is that? It's a form of swordsmanship used by the Imperial Army. Yeah, so here's a combination of the R.S.A. and Vander Styles. Well, techniques that my father and the Viscount teach, at least. I feel they're more than capable of fulfilling their role. We could take them. Ah, uh, hurt. Oh, you guys are. Oh, it's you guys. Why are you? Do our jurisdictions overlap? Well, yeah, they said we both had Dracos Plaza. Come on, Yuna. Precisely. Good day, member of Class Seven. I'm sorry for interrupting your tour of the capital. This is part of our special operations missions. What are you say? It seems like you were enjoying a relaxing store on the Imperial Pal Palace. I'll tell you, you know that you're a fucking loser, Fritz. Yeah, that's your name. You can't tell good work. That's why you're never going to find the spies. You can't tell when people are just enjoying themselves when they're doing real serious work. Oh, it's Annabelle. Uh, yeah, can we put this conversation on hold? I got more important stuff to talk, to talk about. Annabelle! Kenneth! It's already the afternoon. Will you be able to finish with such a slow pace? Well, we have our own way of doing things. I heard you guys have been doing a good job with your civic security activities. Huh? Where is the prince? And where is your instructor? The prince and our instructor had some business to attend to in the palace. We finished our assignments, so we came here to greet them. I see. You guys are quite the loyal lapdogs. Huh? Stop it. Ash could beat them all easily. So how far along are you in your investigation? That is, if you wouldn't mind telling us. Yeah, sure, we... Rain reported the progress they made that morning. Then we fought a fucking dinosaur and had two heads. I see. Interesting. Hmm. I see. Got something to say to us? No, sorry, it just sounds like you didn't accomplish very much. I... God, I can't wait to fight them. On the other hand, we picked up many promising leads this morning. At the end of the day, we should have plenty of actual results. Serves you right for wasting your time helping the community. Yeah, <laughs> in case you didn't know, we're the evil ones. <laughs> what a jerk. So an outsider wants to talk about the importance of special operations missions? Excuse me, we're just stating the facts. With the current state of the capital, which is more beneficial. Your action or ours? Well, that's a tough one. I mean, it's not exciting, but it's not exactly pointless either. Don't relent so easily. Let's all calm down. Class 1 is their way of doing things, as is Class 7. You guys compete, but it's not a race. Besides, if we put all our eggs in investigating the spies, we might get blindsided by something else. Huh? Like, yes, I'm pretty sure that parrot we found is actually evil. Are you saying there are other threats? No, I'm just saying it's gonna have multiple perspectives. Plus, the spies may not even exist. <laughs> I mean, I don't think that's what's gonna happen, but... I wouldn't be surprised if the threat of the Calvardian spies is overstated. For reasons. Didn't you guys deal with the aftermath of society in Northambria? But, well, I graciously accept your warning. Oh, played in Shutterine. Yeah, okay, you did so great. Did you fight the Star Ritter? Nope. Even, now, so, this is where I get to do some double think, where I spend most of my time shit-talking the Star Ritter and saying that they're jokes, and the fact that they call themselves the strongest in Ouroboros is, like, hilarious, but... When we get to compare accomplishments in order to shit on class one, we can say, we beat up the Stall Ritter, who are the strongest in Ouroboros. Multiple perspectives. Seems that things are heating up over here. Prince. <laughs> Better be in your best behavior, looks like your master's here. By God, he's based. What a coincidence is running into you here, Prince. Were you quarreling? No, there are no issues here. Maybe they've even concluded your business. Yeah, so I want to take care of a few things regarding the party two days from now. Let us recommence our civil security activities. Yes, Your Highness. You motherfuckers have a damn car? <laughs> no wonder you're getting more shit done. Regarding the Calvardian squads, they seem to be more skilled than we initially thought. If you encounter them, please be careful. That is all. Um, I feel like they should be careful. Good luck. What was that? 
<laughs> when we gotta go somewhere, we're either forced to walk or take the tram. Must be nice to be them. Come on, let's just do our best. Now back to the special operations missions. What do you want to do? The required request at the race course. There's an optional one from the workshop of the main street as well. Looks like the situation in the other districts have changed since this morning too. Let's make our rounds again, then head to the race course. Alright, so we do get to do all dialogue again. Cool. You're from Thor's branch campus. Welcome to the Heimdall. Or the capital, Heimdall. How are your special operations missions going? I want to see a wonderful class, both with the Ashen Chevalier and trusting it and all. I look forward to continued success. Maybe the secret police aren't so bad, as long as they give me compliments. Prince Cedric really has grown up. You know what, never mind, they're not based. He is the future of the Empire. I need to make sure to serve him well. Every time I see him. He's become more dignified. What What the fuck does dignified mean, then? Because I would, I would use another word that starts with a D. I would say he's become more of a... Oh, it's Rena New Class 7. It's been a while, guys. Have you heard? The fishing exhibition is close at hand. It'll be held on the first day of the summer festival. That's only two days away. I decided to make it part of the festivities then. Gotta be held out on the highway. He has a fish alone, so I'm unaccustomed to being in a big group. I can't contain my excitement. If we end up facing each other, I won't lose to you, Kenneth. Yes, I'm gonna give it my all. You two are as fired up about fishing as ever. For their sakes, I hope the summer festival goes off without a hitch. Are you not here to the match? That's unfortunate. I would have liked to test my skills against all of you. Well, we'd like to. We have our special ops missions. We are, you're, hopefully we'll enter. I don't know. Depends on the game will let me. By the way, whenever we whenever we fish here, whenever we fish here, make sure to test the water quality. It's one of the many ways the Lake Lord Company tries to give back. I think I thank my brother and his Imperial Fishing Club for the idea. So when you test the water quality, you do anything about it? Absolutely not. We just tell you this shit's poisonous. Have fun. Look at this mutant fish I caught. Alright, that's everyone though. So I think we're going to call it here, and in the next video, we will... Man, dang, Vivi, you... Oh, you it's because you have new dialogue, because you wandered way over here? Well, wasn't that Prince Cedric? I just sent the perfect shot for a big scoop. Man, you don't mess around. Maybe her nose is bigger than we thought. Prince Cedric visits the castle during civic security activities. That's a scoop, all right. Yeah, can we say, uh, Prince Cedric... A pompous prince... Then neglects class duties, instead parties at palace. More at 11. Oh god. Nice career. Oh, okay, make sure not to talk to them. You guys say anything? Oh. I guess it's just Vivi that says the new stuff. Alrighty. We'll call it here. Next time we will go investigate more of Heimdall. Probably do our side quests and more talky talks. I'm Extra Cheesy 87. Stay tuned for the next part. And bye, guys.